Well, hello everybody. This is Matt with remove-malware.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, review Bitdefender. A lot of people have requested Bitdefender, and when I posted a poll on the website, uh, it actually won. So let's go ahead and get started with just installing Bitdefender. Um, they pretty much have like a web download installer because this is really small. If I right click on the installer, uh, package it's 152 KB so I'm guessing it's going to download more stuff and this is Bitdefender Antivirus 2009 and it's wanting to upgrade my uh, Windows installer Uh, many of you guys already know that I'm working on a, uh, a test computer, and this computer is infected with over a hundred different pieces of, pieces of malware. And uh, it's constantly changing uh, as the, the malware downloads different copies and deletes old copies of itself and installs newer copies. Um, Personally, in the last two weeks, I've been dealing with nothing but really complicated rootkits. And uh, I've had to use a lot of bootable uh, CDs to get rid of these things. So I'm going to be evaling some rootkit software next time because this is getting out of hand. <laughs> it's taking too much of my time, this, this rootkit stuff. Alright. So it uh, wants me to reboot, of course. Well, maybe not. Good. Hopefully it doesn't. So we're actually downloading uh, BDAV, so BitDefenderAV.msi right now. I should have probably done this before, but you need to see everything, so... Um, so the video has got to be broken up into a few parts. Most of you guys already know that. Ten minutes is my max time. I got a new microphone, so I'm hoping that the audio isn't too crazy or sounds all right. We'll find out. And uh, I should say, state some other facts, just in case this is the first video you watch from me. Um, this uh, PC is, was was not set up with any protection at all. It was left on an unprotected network, connected to uh, the internet for over two months. Uh, no patches on it, no antivirus, and it just got this infected. Probably from one one Trojan got in there and just started downloading everything else. Um, it does have Internet Explorer 6, and I realize people want me to put on Internet Explorer 7. Um, and I'm having some trouble installing that. I'm working on it. Uh, Firefox, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and install that in the future, but I need to get to this um, this guy right here. It's a slick looking program. I love their website. I'm a big fan of the red and grays. <laughs> In fact, I might have Firefox on my desktop. That would be nice because I could get that installed now. I don't see it. Damn. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and download Firefox really quick. I'm going to get that installed while I'm working on this. So 
So Firefox will be on the next review. I don't have time to install it all right now. It's a holiday weekend. We've got things to do. So let's go ahead and hit finish. Mm, that's a new one. New Rogue. Virus Remover 2008. Boy, these guys create a different rogue every single day. They must. Okay. Bitdefender wants me to restart. So I have to do that. So um, I'm just going to count that as the install. Um, you can see that uh, <clears throat> that Bitdefender installed without any problems. It was pretty damn fast, even though it had to download uh, itself. So um, PC is booting up right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, so this will be the installer part one, and then I'll uh, come back to part two right now, which would be uh, configuring and starting a scan. Be right back.